Marty is able to maintain his head in midline for long periods now. Midline and symmetry of the head, eyes, arms, and legs is the hallmark of the supine position in four-month-olds. He demonstrates interest in exploring objects with his hands. Marty is very visual in both horizontal and vertical planes, which leads and drives his movement. There's movement in the forearm, wrist, and individual fingers as he remains visually engaged with the object. His legs bang down on the surface, typical at this age. Extremity movement disassociated from trunk movement is more evident with frequent anti-gravity extremity movement. Babies at this age often can't combine the movements of hands and feet, nor are they always able to coordinate their reach with their vision. When the feet are moving, the hands may be still, and vice versa. By five months, we should see Marty consistently moving both hands and feet together, and better able to combine reaching movement with his ability to localize and track an object. Owen still shows much more asymmetry of both the head and extremities than is expected at four months. Owen's head is turned to the side, and he shows more activity on the left side of his trunk. Rather than being in a straight line, his body is curved like the letter C. He relies on extension rather than a balance of extension and flexion. The movement associated with repositioning disturbs and disorganizes Owen. It takes him longer to reorganize, though he calms down when reassured. He exhibits random movements in his arms and legs. However, there's not much anti-gravity movement. He appears to be attending to the toy and is moving both arms on the surface, but not lifting his shoulder off the surface as expected.